Hello again. In this video, we're going to go over the new features of version 6 that we didn't go over in the introduction video. A good place to find these features is in the release notes, and uh, you can always find those in C, your Easy Builder Pro file, and there should be a PDF in here. release notes. In the uh, introductory video we went over the new uh, ribbon design so we won't go over that. Uh, we added some uh, SQL support um, with a query and a viewer object. We, we added support for image caching. It should speed up page loading uh, with certain graphic objects. Uh, they increased the language support to 24 languages. It used to be just 20. Uh, so you can define up to 20 languages in your project. Uh, added the CMT uh, Diagnoser. Uh, in the past we had uh, Easy Diagnoser you could use for all the other models but we didn't have anything to support this uh, on the CMT uh, platform, so we went ahead and and uh, and uh, added this feature to it. Ten is a pretty cool little feature we can do now. Uh, you can actually copy an image into the Windows clipboard and and paste it right into your project, and of course uh, set the visual properties on it right there at that time. Uh, they improved the communication efficiency for reading large amounts of data from a device. Uh, they added uh, the, the uh, Bosch Rexroth driver, uh, the Emerson ROC 800 series, and of course uh, they did also add the uh, CODIS's V2 absolute addressing in addition to the symbiotic so uh, that's a nice addition for that for what we've got coming down the road on our codices end. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, open up an instance of Easy Builder Pro and uh, take a look at some of this stuff. So let's start out with a database server of course we would have to um, define one. I don't have an SQL server running actually right now so I'm just going to really go over quick on how to uh, on how to set it up. You can either uh, go by the IP address or the domain name for your server address to find the port number and then of course your security credentials. Um, you've got a uh, status word you can set to let you know the status of your connection to the server. And then, of course, you've got a control address that you can define also to uh, execute these commands right here. Once that's done, you can do a uh, you can set up queries for your database, and of course, you have to know the uh, the uh, the structure of your database and all to set these queries up. Uh, but once you have that, or you can actually import them directly from the server if you had a had a live connection to it. And then you can just define which one would be your primary key and uh, and it's all downhill from there. Then uh, once those two things are done then you can do a, uh, you can actually display your query results uh, very simple. You define the query that it is and the style that you want to default crystal or flat. Uh, you've got security settings that you enable for uh, visibility. And then of course you've got your shape tab. You can define your shapes that you want to use.
So uh, pretty uh, simple to use little SQL tool there. You can embed right in your HMI uh, project. So uh, that's awful handy. And uh, let's see the next thing we added. Let's go to our objects tab. Um, our combo button. Uh, on the CMT platform, they added quite a few new actions you can do in the combo button. Uh, we always had a delay, but they added the, uh, the wait until. And so you can uh, actually uh, define a, a condition that you uh, want to happen before you move on to your next step or set a maximum amount of time. So let's say that uh, that you had a bit set and then you uh, whatever bit that might be and then you want to wait until this bit, bit here is at this condition that we set or this amount of time elapses and you can move on to your your next step uh, maybe a set word or whatever uh, this is something that I had been uh, looking forward to they added the close window to the uh, to the combo button that's awful handy um, you can add that into like an enter key on a little pop-up window or something like that uh, you can add it to the uh, on page 70 the login window on the login button so when they log in you don't have to actually X out of the the uh, pop-up window again uh, they added keyboard input pretty cool so you can do all these actions and then have your keyboard pop up uh, pretty neat little feature I can imagine a lot of stuff you could do with that um, they got a screen hard copy that will actually copy the screen and then uh, and put it wherever you want on the USB or SD card Uh, you've got your uh, acknowledge alarms pretty much self-explanatory there that we added and then the import data so you can define uh, where the data is imported from whether you want to overwrite or append the uh, the existing files uh, you can uh, delete the file after uh, importing uh, user accounts. So, do a lot of cool stuff with the new combo button. The label library, uh, you can see here, you do a new, you can go up to uh, 24 languages now. So you can see, then uh, each one of your tags you can uh, labels. You have your different languages for each text in here. And then of course, when you according to what value is in the in the uh, register that defines the language, will define which language is showing. Of course. And uh, as you can see here, this uh, is using the, the new crystal design. Of course, you can change the colors on that to anything you want. Um, and of course, you can use uh, uh, the default, just the plain old table colors that we had and then there is the flat style that's just kinda like Windows XP you know plain kinda look I like the crystal 
itself. So uh, let's move on to the uh, to the new uh, CMT diagnoser uh, feature. Go ahead and save this so it'll compile. And uh, so when you run an on or offline simulation uh, of your project uh, in CMT Viewer, you can just right click and click Diagnoser. And all of the pages in your project will be here. You can actually navigate through the pages using this uh, drop down window here. And of course, even your keypads and and uh, utility pages can be accessed there. You can uh, actually uh, change the value of these PLC no response of these uh, of these uh, objects on here. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, you can actually, if I had macros, you could execute the individual macros if you wanted to. So uh, really nice uh, little tool. We didn't have this support for CMT before. And, uh, and it's uh, really handy. I'm glad they added it. Another really cool feature we have is, um, is we now can uh, copy right into our Windows clipboard an image from our hard drive and paste it directly into our project. And uh, you see this uh, dialog here comes up. You can actually change the uh, size of the image by percentage or pixels. Uh, maintain the, the ratio. Click OK and there's our uh, image right in our project. Very, very simple. Uh, before you had to actually go into the library and import the image and so on and so forth. So it uh, makes it a lot easier just to bring uh, new images right into your project. And uh, now, by the way, this is in your image library. So um, you can jump right to the uh, to the library. That's another actually uh, another um, uh, feature we added. You can right click on an object and click uh, jump to selected shape library and it will bring up the corresponding library to whatever it is that you're that you're on. So pretty neat stuff. Of course, this will bring us to our project library, and there's our image right there. So, pretty neat feature. Um, in the event log, we added uh, some new categories to track. Um, we can actually uh, write into a register the amount of time that the uh, that the uh, that the alarm was active. So you can um, log the reset and the act of the elapsed time between the two, and uh, store those in in registers to be recalled later. Neat little addition to the event log, and that's about it for the uh, for the actual uh, tools and features that would that would be used in creating a project. Um, as I said, there were a couple more on there regarding the OPC servers and some of those other things. I encourage you to uh, go into your C drive in your Easy Builder profile and uh, look for your um, release notes every time you 
uh, update to a uh, to a later version and uh, check out all the cool new features that we add every time thanks for watching and be sure to come back and watch some more of our videos